So where we went, and she was like, can I get, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. And what's your side? Broccoli. Exactly. You don't have to have french fries with every burger or every Yes, you do. MJT fan, welcome back to the Let's Build Together channel with Nakia Thruche. Got my girl Nakia Goodman here with us. We're going to dive into this mukbang. What we eating today? We're eating the croaker spot. Listen, we had to jump in and do it the best way we can. Our camera wasn't letting us be great today. I am eating some stuffed salmon. We got some cornbread going on here. We got some um, yams going on here. We got some macaroni and cheese going here and some cornbread. And she decided she wanted to have some greens. You know, I got to have my Coca-Cola. And yes, we did not plate this stuff because we ordered it out or Kia ordered it out. Um, we were going to do the mukbang in the, in the restaurant, but I've been getting a lot of background noise and not being able to have a good, uh, you know, a good video for you guys. So we're going to do it in the house. Um, what you eating? So I have fried fish and shrimp so and cornbread. Good. It looks so good. It, it, it even smells delicious, y'all. <laughs> so again, if you are a new subscriber, a new uh, person that is jumping in on this channel we want you to go ahead and subscribe if you're returning and you've been loyal to us thank you so much for stopping by this channel we're gonna go ahead and dive in because month things is about what eight and that's what we're gonna do okay and we're hungry and we are hungry so we're gonna bless our food father god in the name of jesus we thank you for this food we thank you for the resources that paid for it and we ask that it will bring nourishment to our bodies in jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Listen, don't send for us because we didn't put this stuff on a plate. Don't even try it, okay? Yeah, it's all going down the same way. It's going down the same way, whether it was on a ceramic plate, a paper <laughs> plate. I will put this food on the table and eat it. Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Exactly. Now, when Kia bought this stuff here, I was a little concerned. <laughs> because... We're comparing Croker Spots. Mm -hmm. The Croker Spot in v Richmond, Virginia plays no games. Look at that. That's the yams. They plated that food so good. I'm telling you, have y'all ever ordered your favorite food? Trump, y'all. Why are you showing off? Mm -hmm. Good. You gotta eat your shrimp with cocktail sauce. Or like with Kia with tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, mm -hmm. yeah. You, you put from... tartar sauce on the shrimp. Comment below. Because you know tartar sauce is the thing. Mm -mm. You can, not on no fried shrimp. That's, it's for cocktail sauce. It's for fried food, period. No, it's really not. It's for, um, what's that, what's that other stuff? What other stuff? It's for steam. Steam? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put it up there too and butter. For that. This right here is stuck. Okay, first of all, I feel like the rest of my salmon is in the ocean. <laughs> it didn't make it in here. So I'm comparing this the Croker Spot in Norfolk, Virginia, to the Croker Spot in Richmond. So far, Richmond takes the win. I wish this camera. I wish they had where we can just let y'all taste it. <laughs> I don't, because I don't want to share my food. It's just telling the truth. That's a shame. <laughs> but that salmon is seasoned good. If y'all can. That salmon is seasoned. Let me just tell y'all if this salmon fell off this fork, 
the five second rule applies in all my videos. <laughs> Don't say anything to me. Because I'm going. I will say, I didn't get their yams last time. I got their cabbage. Mm -hmm. And she don't like yams. I don't like them. But these yams, these yams is good. Somebody great, great, great. I think Harriet Tubman in that kitchen cooking these yams. <laughs> and I am loving these greens, y'all, because you know what? I hate salt. And they're not salty, but they're seasoned, which is perfect. Really? They're good. Let's see. Yeah, these ain't glories. <laughs> they yeah, these are, are these are not glories. These are good. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did a good job, Kia. Yes, they did. Shout out to Cocoa Spot in Norfolk. Cause they live in Norfolk, and she know they gonna come across this video and still want them to do nothing to her food. You gonna tell me that that this is better than? No, I didn't. That's not what I said. Did, did you hear that? You, you shouting them out. Said, well, I mean, it's still good. It's not like it's trash. I know the rest of my salmon is <laughs> in the Atlantic Ocean, <laughs> and it's supposed to be stuffed crab. I would say it's a little overcooked. Okay. But it is good. I'm gonna give y'all. Mm. Look at that. God, if she dropped that piece of fish. It's, I'm, it's going in my mouth. I'm just going to lose it. I'm just going to throw it. It's going in my mouth. Look at that. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. It's so hard that I can eat it like this. Like a crab cake. Right. Because we all used to salmon, you know, kind of falling apart and stuff. You got a burger. I got a salmon burger. <laughs> I got a salmon burger. These yams are good. Man, I didn't want to get um, cabbage this time, even though their cabbage is amazing. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to deal with the gas. Oh, yeah. I just want to I struggle between the greens and the um, cabbage. Kia what is that type of person that would order French fries. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> a hamburger and collard greens. What you doing? I remember one day, I don't know where we went. And she was like, can I get, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. And what's your side? Broccoli. Exactly. You don't have to have french fries with every burger or every Yes, you do. No, you don't. I don't know why you getting why you getting a burger then. Because I like beef. And she should have ordered um <laughs> some ground beef <laughs> and some broccoli. That was good. Or stew beef. This so, guy's overrated anyway. I knew that would get her, y'all. <laughs> do you know how I feel about French fries? Yes, I do. That's why I said it. <laughs> I am so in love with french fries and she is so disrespectful to them. Some french fries are good cold, y'all. Y'all have to agree. No. With hot sauce and ketchup. There is no french fry that is good cold. I like it. Mm-mm. That's from that's because you from the country. No, I'm not. What's the country? Here. <laughs> you can't tell me nobody up north who want their fries cold. You can tell I'm you probably can tell nobody here who want their fries cold, but I'm just different. And is I don't even have my pop sign to cup. Let me see. That's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink it from the head. We're being unorthodox today on the Let's Build channel, so what y'all know about this cornbread on? This cornbread is official. It's always well. I'm telling you, it's like a cake. Love it. I but I still feel like Richmond got them. <laughs> Mm. I mm. agree. I know that I agree. <laughs> That's what she needed a burp, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing like my. 
I'm telling you, Coca-Cola need to sign me. All I need to do on the next Super Bowl, just put me on the stage. I don't need much time. <laughs> I just need to go. <laughs> and that's, that's it. it. <laughs> or give me the commercial. Because the commercials they had this Super Bowl was wiggity, 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 whack. Mm -mm. So I'm just trying to tell you, Cocoa. I got you. This mac and cheese is good. It is good. Mm, 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 mm. But you know, I can't really be a food critic. Because I just like to eat, y'all. I know she texts me today. Tell me, well, I said, how's your day? She asked me, how's your day going? I said, my day's going good. How's your day good? Well, have some free pizza today. Y'all was not some pizza day today. Um, I is it on a calendar? Um, I don't know, but <laughs> pardon us, y'all. Erica Badu just walked behind the camera. <laughs> don't do it like that. You didn't look like I saw it. That thing got wings. Just a little tiny. That's it. That's it. It's a little tiny. It's okay. That. <laughs> Y'all, the stuff that going on behind this camera <laughs> is better than this mug thing. We was like... Anyway, it's time for some challenges. It's time for some pranks. What's going on with this broom stuff that people that I'm seeing? You know, I asked that same question today. Okay, what's the answer? Something about NASA and the way that the Earth is tilted, that the broom is able to stand up now or something. Clearly, it's like everybody is using the exact same broom. And if you just position the broom the right way, the broom will stand up. But NASA can't tell nobody how to tilt their bank account, but <laughs> they can tilt a broom. That's useless. I don't know, but I did get two pictures, matter of fact, with the demonstration. And you the did it? One, I didn't do it. Okay. But the first one, I was wild because I didn't know anything about the broom thing. I was like... Well, how'd you do that? Mm -hmm. And then I started asking questions, of course. And that was the answer that I got. What's holding the broom up? The dust fan? The broom! It's literally the way that you position the broom. The broom is really standing up by itself. And everybody is on it. Somebody yeah. posted and said, if this broom, anybody got a broom standing up in my kitchen, they better be sweeping. <laughs> so that's what's up. I'm just like, you can do it. You can move anything on the, um, you know, on social media, but you can't get people to support. You can't get, am I lying? Mm -hmm. You can't get people to support unless it benefits them, obviously. Or I just don't get it. You can get a thousand likes on some buffoonery looking at the broom. And somebody apparently went in Walmart and stood up brooms in a broom aisle. Oh, they had a, <laughs> a picture of a bunch of them? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's hilarious. So the earth tilted, and it was positioned where, I don't know. Help us, Lord. Listen, I'm going to give this crocus spot A seven. Well, what you what you about to put in there? I don't know. What you about to put in there? Well, you, you just turned on the air fryer. Are those the ones from earlier? Yeah. I, I 
See, you don't, okay. You don't even eat your shrimp like you're supposed to. How are you supposed to eat shrimp? Like, why is hot? Well, first of all, hot. first of all, <laughs> you're all lukewarm at this point. Let me just tell you. See? Now she can come show us how she did it. <laughs> oh, no. They no. <laughs> got the boom stand that girl. Can you come get this phone and take a picture? The phone is off camera. Ooh. It's right here. Oh, this On the roll here. Right here. This stuff don't make no sense. Really funny. That's so really funny. That's not. Y'all want, <laughs> want them zeros to add to your bank account? Ask, ask NASA how to tilt them zeros and add them to the bank account. <laughs> what do you want? Okay, so what's going to be for lunch tomorrow? That's another thing that Kia does. This will probably be this All of this is not going to be for tomorrow. She'll find a way to split both of this. Well, actually, we have a luncheon going on tomorrow at work. Okay, so this is going to be Thursday. Exactly, and it possibly could make it to Friday because I got enough side left to have two days work. We have some big sad so I just want to talk though. Well, then I must just be Big Bertha. If you're named Bertha and you watch it, I'm not talking about you. I just want to go ahead and tell you that. <laughs> because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat my food now. One of the medications that I take that takes my appetite away, and I, I'm in here fighting with my family to eat, so I don't really eat. So. I know I'm not going to finish these jams. Not today. But you can eat it later. This broom is tomorrow. standing. Wow. See, I told you just the way you position the broom. Yeah, no, but it's supposed to, when, um, like people are leaving their brooms up to see when, what time it falls. Because they're busy. Oh, the way they're, they're, okay, well then that's what it is. Is that the purpose of it? The purpose of it is to I am like flabbergasted. Really, it's not the purpose of it necessarily isn't the fact of like well it's the purpose of the broom standing. It's just the purpose of the gravity. And the fact that because <coughs> how it's moving right now, that's how gravity's working is really crazy. Well then them astronauts up there really tilted. Mom, space isn't I understand, I'm space just saying is, space isn't moving. Y'all know what I mean. No. If you're talking about the Milky Way, yeah, sure, but like. Yeah, I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the Milky Way. But they don't. I'm talking about anything. <laughs> I'm talking about anything that has, that will make my statement correct. That's what I'm talking about. So, back to some challenges. Not doing a broom challenge. Oh, that's dumb. And she won't walk around the, she won't walk around the broom in the kitchen. And she probably gonna leave the thing too. And when it falls, she's gonna run and come jumping out there <coughs> and mess around and get shot by mistake. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Any challenges you think we should do? Have I you seen any challenges? I haven't. I have one. What is that? I really want to taste that shrimp. You would wait till I got one left. But I'm not because there's only one left. You I feel like, it. what's that right there? This is fish. No, I'm not going to take your last shrimp because I know that like that makes a long drive home. <coughs> when you think about it. What? You know what's really funny? What? If, if dad comes in the kitchen and sees this broom, Standing up in the kitchen by itself. Leave it there. 
He is going to lose it. I am leaving it there. Because he's going to think he probably um, sniffed something in the air. <laughs> I should set a camera up. Not be able to say that. You get catch his reaction. Set a camera up and he walk in that kitchen later and that broom just standing up in the middle. He gonna ask me to, he gonna ask me to go with him to the doctor. He's like, can you go with me to the emergency room? This broom standing up. I'm like, that broom is not standing up. I don't know what you see. And she would do that, make him feel like he's going to lose some hair. I do that all the time. Well, I still got pieces. I don't, I know, listen, I know the thumbnail probably look a whole lot better than this salmon burger I had. And that's why I'm saying that Richmond is a 10 on this stuff. What was it? Um, stuff, what, what was it called? Crab stuff, salmon. Salmon. Diamond. I'm supposed to say it, y'all. It's called salmon. Oh. I learned that at age 43. I've been saying <laughs> salmon. Now, this is why the English language is so hard to learn. So kudos to people that come to America and learn our language because we don't even know what we're talking about. Right, because clearly there's an L in that word. It is an L, but it's not salmon. It is salmon. Okay, so you learn something. This is what I'm saying. Let's build. I just built your vocabulary today on a whole mukbang. <laughs> but it's salmon. And um, I'm going to give Richmond a 10 because the salmon, what'd you call it? Crab stuffed salmon. This was a crab stuffed salmon burger. But it was flavorful. It was flavorful. I I know me. If I was still in a restaurant, she would send it back. I would send it back. And my husband, he doesn't like for me to send food back because he was like. They're going to spit in your food. Let me find spit in my food. It's going to be the end of your business. God dang, you wouldn't know. It's going to be the end of this establishment. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm calling a congresswoman. I ain't not with nobody, but on the next business day, I am. They're going to think I have the congresswoman on um, speed dial. Yes, I'm, uh, yes, it's Makia. May I speak to the congresswoman? Yes, I have an establishment that needs to be shut that down. Which one? We don't know. But duh. I don't want to reveal her name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Just, yeah. She said to, yep. <clears throat> Cold word. Oh, sandals. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I've called three times this week. I've been out to dinner three times this week. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congresswoman, hello. Yes. I am visiting um, the Croker Spot in Norfolk. And um, the chef just spit in my food. <laughs> Tell them to shut it down now. See, that's, that's the kind of power I don't need. No, you don't. And that's why I know we're doing a month thing, y'all. But that's why we don't need a female president. Y'all can send for me if you want. But that's why we don't need a female president. Because if she on her cycle, the whole country gets shut down for three days. I don't want to hear nothing. And then ain't, no kids ain't going to school. <laughs> it's a holiday. <laughs> it's a holiday for three days. I don't agree, except for Michelle Obama. I think she would be able to keep her composure. Anybody outside of Michelle Obama, like a Nakia Goodman, mm-mm. Oh, I don't want them problems or responsibilities. Not Michelle. She made our food nasty. Oh, in the school because yes. she did the healthy, yeah. healthy stuff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we dated her in the Greek. 
She'll be like, you know what? I am so angry today. All the children are eating ferns at every public school in America. No, don't take them off the pot. Give them a fern and that is what they're eating. With some water. Give them, give them peace lilies. Can you imagine? No, ma'am. <coughs> you want some angry parents? <laughs> imagine y'all had grass for lunch. No, no, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <coughs> so, cornbread was good. Mm -hmm. Coca Cola did their job. These jams so sweet. Oh. I'm probably diabetic now. Mac and cheese is good. Yeah, because she demolished that. Going. Yeah, it is going. Um, Excuse me. Kia's uh, Kia's collard greens is good. <laughs> My collard greens were delicious. Okay. Do that. Have to eat in moderation. Nobody cares. I mean, <laughs> Yo, you get on my nerve. What? Cause I don't want to eat everything in one. But day. you always eating and always and then always sending for people to my. Yeah, Maki, I can see that you lost weight in your face and then make it to the rest of your body. I, she, like who said? Say yes, yeah, she did. No, I did not. Yes, yeah, she did. And we doing my thing. So you know, <laughs> I'm just eating <laughs> in moderation. Get out of here. Because you're supposed to eat small meals frequently every day. Whatever, Kia. Yeah. Even like, though this was fried, you're going to have to eat all of it in one sitting. Says the person who sends me picture of food all day. Because I love to eat. I, I love to eat, guys. I do. I really do. Well, <coughs> I don't know. I think I should make this a Croker Spot review. Well, you did it already. This is going to be a Crocus Spot review. I'm sorry. This is a Crocus Spot review. Okay, what's your feedback on it before we end this video? So, I I agree. Richmond was better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's not that Norfolk was bad. It's just that Richmond put a little more love in it. For <laughs> Right. Oh, I don't know if they had the weekday shelf and then got the weekend shelf. I don't know if it's a difference that you know it's busier on the weekend. I don't know. But right. possible. However, right. it's not bad. You just still go there to eat. However, Richmond does take the cake hands down. I what would you give them on a scale of one to ten? Mm -hmm. Seven and a half, eight ish. Yeah. Where where the <clears throat> Where's the eight, seven and a half, eight ish coming from? Um, only because it just seems like, like, just like I said, Richmond just puts a little more love in it. Yeah. It's a little more, a little more love in it. And I still got my salmon burger. It's a review. This is going to be a Why review. Why you have to drop it like that, y'all? This salmon, this salmon is supposed to be moisturized with like cocoa butter or jojoba oil, <laughs> lotion for that matter, castor oil. <laughs> I know y'all like, well, find somewhere else to eat. What I'm going to start doing is cooking my meals because a sister can cook. Let me tell y'all, that Spanish rice, I'm just trying to tell y'all. <laughs> Could cook more than Spanish I mean, rice. Yes, she can. She she's a very good cook. Uh, everything that I've had of her is amazing. But that Spanish rice, y'all. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> understand. It's like a spell is put on you when you eat it. She gonna text me the other day with her moderation eating <laughs> self. Tell me how. I just feel like some Spanish rice. I had a craving. She is. Far from pregnant as East is from the West. To my, I'm just craving some Spanish rice. What? Don't you have patience in America to help get out of the Spanish rice? Well, 
this gonna be my crocus spot review i love crocus spot don't get me wrong like he has said i think the tuesday chef is just that a tuesday chef because we went on a weekend and mm -hmm. dude must have had his beats on it's rocking it was rocking in that kitchen yeah. he was like this jojoba oil castor oil or whatever oil that they put in it and was and was doing it. Was your cornbread just a little dry? Just a tad. Just a tad. I just that's tad. what I'm saying. Just a little bit, but it was good. Do y'all know if we would have plated this stuff, I probably would have been even more disappointed. Why would you be more disappointed? Because the plate is to make it look cute. And if this stuff ain't popping, it belongs in this little it belongs in this. All right, well, catch me next Monday when I drop another when I drop another banger. I don't know what I'm eating. Like, I don't know what I'm eating, but comment below. Let's see what you want me to eat. Um, we got a lot of videos. Go ahead and check out the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. Please do not forget to hit subscribe. You always got to make sure that you hit that post notification bell so you know when i'm dropping the latest and greatest <laughs> go ahead kia kia get that ah ain't i like the percolator what oh, uh, that percolator what you know, uh, that's not a you know i didn't know nothing about a percolator until she had she played it for me and i said oh that's real country oh, country let me tell y'all y'all know y'all from this area we don't don't play the don't <laughs> Don't play the percolator and do a muck thing because somebody need to be there to do the Hamlet. But anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, I'm out of here. I love you guys as always. XO, boom.